Hey y'all, it's Caitlin, and look! Finally, a new Hot Girl product in my collection. Just, like, I was trying to think, and I, I honestly, it was before I started my channel that I found my last brand new piece of merchandise that was Hot Girl. It's a little sad. But anyway, so this is from the same line as the Wonder Woman one that I reviewed uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, I was waiting for this thing so freaking bad. And I mentioned in the Wonder Woman video, there's something I find very, very interesting about this. And I'm wondering if the artist meant for it to be like a little Easter egg that who would notice this. Because it says she's worked in this industry over a decade, so she can't, she couldn't have made this mistake, especially if she volunteered, which I'm pretty sure that's how it works. They volunteered to draw these characters. And then DC says, yeah, you can or no, you have to choose another one. But, uh, I'll get into that, uh, in a second, but quick look at the box. I don't really like the gray pattern they're using. I mean, maybe it's supposed to reminiscent the grayscale ones you can buy. I don't know. And also, in the last video I mentioned that you could get, uh, GameStop exclusives that were joker themed apparently at box lunch you can get harley quinn themed so guess which one's coming in the mail uh i think two days from now i could have waited but nah. so we're gonna get a harley hot girl but anyway so you could keep it out and display it like this but that's not gonna happen especially when it's a hot girl so as i'm opening this up let me tell you guys a little bit about the character so hot girl is usually depicted as one of two different characters, Shaira Hall and Kendra Saunders. Now, Kendra is supposed to be the reincarnation of Kendra because, you know, that's Hot Girl and Hot Man's whole thing. They fell in love years and years and years ago. They died tragically together. They both get reincarnated in the next life and everything just repeats all over again. Well, even though they're technically the same character, even though they have been shown side by side before, especially recently in the Justice League uh, comic book, there was a whole story arc where Kendra met Shaira. But um, anyway, even though they're technically supposed to be the same character, in a way, they still have different personalities, they have different appearances. So Shaira, you probably know from Justice League, the anime series, and Justice League Unlimited, as well as most of the older comics. And I mean, like, the very first appearances of Hawk Girl and Hawk Woman, as she was sometimes uh, put as. But, Kendra was seen in uh, DC's Legends Tomorrow, the live action show, or the more current comics. And let's please all forget about her look in the New 52, because that was just atrocious. But usually, Shaira is depicted as having long red hair and paler skin. Kendra has shorter blonde or brunette hair that you can't really even see when she has her mask on. Her, their costumes are different as well. A lot of times their masks look very similar. Not always, but sometimes. But usually, Kendra has more green in her outfit. She has green on the top part of her outfit, and Shaira usually only has it on her leggings. Kendra usually has two large leather wristbands going on her forearms, and Shaira, usually her only jewelry are simple white earrings. Well, if you look at this one, this statue has long red hair, paler skin, but she has green on her upper part of her outfit and leather wristbands on her arms. This is Shaira wearing Kendra's costume. <laughs> what the heck? And at first, I didn't really know how to feel about it at first. I really di didn't because I'm like, what? Because <laughs> I spotted it right away. I'm like, that's not the way that's supposed to go to go but the more i look at it the more i'm like that's kind of cool 
I mean, I really do think, at first I was wondering, did the artist make a mistake? But when I read that she, on the last one, when I read that, that she was there for a decade, you know, working in the industry, I imagine she did this either as A, you know, just a creative liberty, or B, a cool little Easter egg to see how many fans would notice. Well, hey, I noticed very, very quick, quickly, and I actually kind of like it. It makes it diff way di more different than any of the hot girls in my collection because I have I have some Kendra Saunders in my collection but my favorite is Chayera which is why I was so fr freaking excited when I saw the red hair <laughs> I just love Chayera because that's the one I'm moving the table <laughs> because that's the one I fell in love with when I was a kid and also her mace is more reminiscent of Kendra's because it's has like a leather strap on on it or you know leather wrapping around it or it's supposed to look like it Shire has only had the leather uh, wrist band the rest of it was all metal <clears throat> who can put in the comment section what the mace is made out of what metal if you do you get a gold star so <laughs> I freaking love this and also the helmet looks a lot more like Kendra's usually does this, does too Shire her the black parts here in the middle are usually much smaller then um this one so it's probably Kendra's mask too oh man I love this <laughs> I just find that so so interesting and for anyone who really cares about the numbers it's 247 out of 3,000 I don't know how many the Harleys and Jokers have been made uh, I imagine probably about half that but who knows but oh my god gosh now in this scenario she does look a little bit weird with the whites in the eyes but that's the way they look like when they have their masks on but so definitely not a complaint and I think it would look even weirder if they had irises so definitely not a complaint there but man I love this you can see the lipstick on her if you look really clo close there's actually like a spot that's bare that's meant to be like a highlight that's very very cool cool meanwhile if you turn it around the wings are extremely detailed everything is carved out perfectly the hair has been like slightly dry brushed to bring out all the creases and stuff in it that is freaking awesome also the wings looks like they have been dry brushed with silver too so dang that's a cool detail I love it and I love her stand I like it when their bases are different than that of those in the same line <coughs> Her and Batgirl, let's see if I can get the, nah, anyway, <laughs> table back, but no. Her and Batgirl are the only two that have a distinct base to it. You can see here, Batgirl is on her scooter. And I kind of really want the Harley Quinn Batgirl just because it looks so freaking cool. But, but uh, I was so flippin' psyched. When I saw this, I had friends messaging me about it because they knew I was into Hot Girl. And this is my dream. <laughs> if we could have more Hot Girl merchandise, I would be so freaking happy. But it's not going to happen because they're because she's just not as popular as a lot of others. I really wish I had been doing YouTube at the time that we got this Hot Girl in DC's Legion of Collectors box from Funko. Uh, that would have been a priceless reaction, I know, because <laughs> I just froze because I was so freaking happy because I didn't think we would ever get a hot girl. So, oh, I'm so happy. The only thing, paint-wise, she looks a lot better than Wonder Woman, first off. And I said the dry brushing looks awesome. It looks like some of the yellow on her boots where it's meant to be looks like claws near the toes. It looks like they needed another layer of paint, especially this boot, because it's a little bit see-through. And it look, there's a spot on her chest where it looks like the yellow is trying to fade into the green, but you can barely even see, see it at all. So her paint job is so, so much better than uh, Wonder Woman's, and she also has her Hot Girl logo 
on her belt buckle. So, uh, yes. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. Got Shaira did have this type of outfit in Justice League Unlimited where, where it was just like a tank top and then leggings. But again, usually this is a look that you usually see with Kendra. So, it's Shaira and Kendra's outfit. Which, <laughs> when you think about it, Shaira is the older one. Kendra is supposed to be Shaira's reincarnation. So, so I, I guess it would make sense if Kendra was being seen wearing Shaira's outfit. But the fact that we have Shaira wearing Kendra's, you're kind of like, how could that happen? She's supposed to be dead. And Kendra's not even supposed to be alive yet. So, it's a little bit weird and kooky when you think of it. And I actually like it. But she says she's into like a fairy tale kind of aesthetic, didn't it say here? I'm not going to make y'all suffer through my reading again. Yeah, dreamlike fairy tale aesthetic. So, maybe that's what she was go going on. Because this should never happen. But, she made it happen. So, I absolutely love this. This is definitely one of my favorite statues in my collection right now. And... Just because it's so friggin' unique, and I love it so, so much. And I can't wait for my Harley one. <laughs> and yes, we're going to have a video on the Harley one when I get around to it, so. Uh, when I get around to it on Friday, because that's when the thing's coming. I'll make time for that video, but oh my go gosh. So, probably whenever I post this video, the next video I post will be the Harley one of this line. Probably unless I have something else that I feel like is more pressing. I have a few packages that's supposed to be coming in the mail, so they might get separated, but I don't know. Oh, this is so freaking cool. I'm just going to be staring at this for a while, so let me go ahead and end this video so I can do that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Dang. I love this.